Sister D, I'm here live at This and That Productions, and I want to welcome you to Ahu Dat. Ahu Dat TV is going to be a showcase show showcasing artists, musicians, from a musician and artist point of view. We're going to have interviews, you know, live clips of shows, and just everything that's interesting about the reggae industry and the music business in the reggae industry right now. Um, our first show, we're going to have a very special guest. Mr. Aaron Silk, who's the brother of the late, great Garnet Silk. And if you're into reggae, you know what I'm talking about. Aaron Silk also has some great, great music out right now, and he's also working on a tour, um, I think in the spring. But right now, let's just take you directly to Aaron Silk, and he can tell you exactly what's going on. So we're going to take it over to Dub House Pictures in Jamaica. All right, just let's just say And I reggae music, you say, you know, but they hang out from the graduate. Here on Silk, you know, the brother of Garnet Silk, with the whole vibe at the Mixing Lab studio. See me, I say, give me a baba to me and a righteousness to come with me. Good night to know the people, we're 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 like to know, the people would like to know in general, how did you start out your musical journey? Uh, the journey started from a young age, you know, a age of about, when I like, discovered that I could really do this was about 12 years. Yeah, um, singing at you know church, you know, youth fellowship choir, and thing. and then after it was all about JCDC, you know, singing on um, festival shows. Yeah. You know, parish show of JCDC always keep yeah. annuality Jamaica mm-hmm. independent years. You know, we have the truck going around from parish to parish, parish course of trucks. So I used to perform with that. So I've been in live bands in Mandela from young age. Working at like, seeing at places like Cecil Charter and all and you know, and barbecues, you know, weird barbecues. It's here and see them same for I'm a virgin guy just staff uh, with a keyboard and <laughs> thing. So at the time passing uh, your, your, your brother gone. How did that affect your career coming up in the music business? Well, you know, Garnet, at the time when Garnet tried out, Garnet was the biggest artist in Jamaica at the time. And, uh, and was, you know, about to conquer the whole world, <laughs> yes, world globe. Yes, yes, yes. There was no limit to how far Garnet was going. Okay. You know? But at that time, the I think was just simmer and just, just steaming. To go yeah. and thing because God it always said why and I say, oh, you have to come help me do this you now because I alone can do it. You know. yes, yes. Always I said them things to me. You know. So, mm-hmm. you know, God it the one who said, Music is the rod and we are Moses, leading God's children to the promised land. Music is the voice of his brother Aaron, yes. Uh-huh. Preaching and comforting at the Father's command. So that was the message, you know. And from the year when God had tried, you know, um, the world just, everyone just, 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 just see. Everything was just straight at the era. Yes, yes, yes. Everyone just looking at, um, towards I and I if you carry the, the, the button from the era. 
I guess it was my responsibility, so, so it I had no choice. I had, to, I, I had to take it up and you know and, and, and run with it. So. so you had to run with it in terms of singing your music or 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 and also Garnet. And also Garnet. Because most of the time when um, at the early early stage of yeah. the of the passing of Garnet, yeah. when Garnet tried out of the flesh, it was like people every time I touch a stage, this excitement of the people. Like they want to see Garnet live in Chihuahua. So I was bound to sing Garnet songs. Garnet songs were, was a must. Mm -hmm. Came up on stage and I sing Garnet. If I sing my tune, then the people I request Garnet songs. Mm -hmm. when, when, if I touch one Garnet, then no one stops singing Garnet. You know, right. so guys, it was just the, the, the love and the joy and the beauty, you know, of the people. <laughs> Part of my career at the time was, you know, um, touring, you know, doing Garnet. So because Garnet, I've never done a tour. Never. No, never, never done a tour. I think five times the most Garnet ever been on a plane. Mm -hmm. You know, Garnet, Garnet career was just in you know, about um, three years old. Mm -hmm. Garnet just, Garnet just started in the music. You know? <laughs> the music just had started for Garnet. It was a lot. It was just <laughs> three years. I'm going to try out at, at 28 years old. I'm going to try out a young youth, just as that. And, 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 and from, from there, now, you know, that's when trying to, know, to, 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 to curve a, a year on and, and concentrate on year and career was a very hard thing. You know, the transformation was, was, was really because no matter people get used to and accustomed to, to I singing Ghana songs on stage. That whenever I come they want, that's what they want to see. So in you the, know? So in the time of Garnet being on the stage and working and doing music, did you embark on doing any tracks for yourself, any music for yourself? Or yeah? Garnet and I wrote a song, Show I the Way, which in uh, 2005, that was a year after Garnet um, passed the year after I did a song show right away with Tommy Cowan. Yes. Yeah. That's um I think Tommy Cowan thing at the time, the talent in Yes. Yeah, yeah. Right? It was a song written by me and Garnet. Um it was a little like Oh ja, I need a light that shines so bright so I can find my way. Show her the way a brighter day. I don't wanna go astray. Oh, Jah, I need your light that shines so bright so I can find my way. Show her the way a brighter day. I don't want to go astray. You know, and, you know, from there. So how, you know, how, that, so how did that song do for you? How, how did that? Yeah, man, that was, a, that, was, that was one of the first songs that gave me my recognition, you know, um, as an as a, as a, as a artist yeah. standing on my own. Yes, yes. And then came the the, the Lala Bella in 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 ninety seven. Give us a little piece of that. One. Lala Bella is a is a is a is a song where I said, dwelling on the righteous path to Jah, yeah. making one step while he guides the other. Yeah. To live in this world takes strength and vigor. We've got to a faith to proceed. We will brace ourselves for the worst of time. We're good go who we will follow behind to avoid corruption. We've got to ignore. Been tempted abuse and tears. Yeah, you know? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> it was a spiritual vibe. 
went to number one in most of the Caribbean countries. And, and, and I think it was Germany and France, you know, was number one. When I went on tour in Italy, you know, that was the song that people most know me by. You know, that's what, what people knew me by, you know, that song. You know, Shwai the Wind. So come to, come to that. How did the international market, especially in Europe, how did they accept your music differently from Ghana's music? You see, me and Ghana have a similar song. As you can hear, you know. Yeah, yeah. And um, the fact that the fact that I've introduced myself first with 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 with, with, with Garnet songs, I yes, think it was yes. easy for people to yes, yes. to embrace, yes, you know, what yes, I have, yes, yes. you know, because they wanted to hear the difference, and they really, and at that time, you know, they were the one who was asking, because they really wanted to hear what Aaron have to to to. To, to offer, yes, yes, to have of them, you know, of himself, yes. and and they were amazed, you know, they, it, it was just a beauty for them, and they they just accept and said yes, we know that you are <laughs> the one, you know, that God was talking about. Music is a rod, and this is the brother here. <laughs> yes. I saw my brother Garnet yesterday. I remember what he said When I woke from my dream The vision was clear as eyes could see When I heard him say to me Rastafari is real hey, I don't want to ever see you cry Wipe those tears from your eyes he said, people are dying every day, oh it hurts my heart to say, for the youths will pass the away, let's pray, and to the faithful soldiers, blessed love, I salute you from above, yes, trust the fall and fill your heart with love. Saw my brother Marley yesterday I remember what he said Before I woke from my dream Redemption song is what he sings Playing melodies from his guitar strings With some sweet harmony I don't want to ever see you weep Stand firm on your feet Be said So your spirituality When did you come to see Rastafarian as the right religion or your religion? To you know, Rastafari is not a religion, you know? It's a liberty right. But, I've, but um, Rastafari have always been a part of my growing up yes. Because we grew up and, 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 and see back in my community, little um, downs, Manchester. Manchester. Yes, yes, man. yes, yes. I see, you know, them time they use Rasta after run the hills. Because police would have run down Rasta, cut off them, not you know, lock them up. Yes, <laughs> because yes. it was a guy, a black heart man. Yes, yes. And, and yeah, man, and the sympathy and compassion where I used to show and have for Rasta far right, them time they, yes, yes. you know, you know. It, I, I think it was a connection, and I think I, I didn't realize at the time that it was my destiny, and that the, that's the direction that I was going in. Because I always love to stamp and reason with the with, 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 with the Nazism from them time, eh? yes. you know. So Rastafari, when I grew up, I have been to many churches. As I tell you before, youth fellowship, choir, and all them things. So I've been to church more than once, more than one church, which is that I've been to, and. Um, I've never, I, I, I've never linked spiritually with none of these congregation or religions until I, you know, started embracing Rastafari to the fullest. Because the love and the warmth and, 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 and the togetherness and the brother, the vibe that Rastafari offers. I, and I never see that. And I never used to get that. 
Tapi kita harus pakai dengan ayu itu. Kita juga nak cakap cantik. Omu sama um, the, the 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 spiritual side of Rastafari came out being around down it. You know, and learning about His Majesty and Pius Lassie the first. And then when I started embracing the teachings of Pius Lassie, that was when I realized that yo, this thing and this liberty is the way for and I have to go because. This is the kind of person that I want to be, you know. Yeah. This is the kind of love that I want to share. This is the direction that I want to go. So how, 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 how did it help your music, bringing forth for the words to your music? It's been the background of reggae music. Yeah. Yes. Rastafari mm -hmm. have always been. Rastafari is who established Jamaica. Because when we're on tour, people don't know, sometimes people don't even know the, the name of the country. Yeah. <laughs> so what they say is, Bob Marley oh, country. Right, right, right. So mm -hmm. when people like, people like Toots Ebert, you know, people like Jimmy Cliff, Bob Marley, take reggae music wide and far to the four corners of the earth, mm -hmm. people, that's when people start knowing about this the Island. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. This the Island of reggae music and Rastafari, <laughs> you know. So um, Rastafari, you know, that play a, a, a strong part in the music because reggae music goes along with Rasta. So if you go to Africa right now, you see reggae music and things, they, they, you know, people will, people will say, well, you know Rasta, man. Right. You know, right. people right. hear, hear a certain man where they don't have no natty, sing certain songs, and they send for them to Africa, and they come to them surprised. Mm -hmm. Because they might look for say, okay. you know, the natty, and they must see it, and they're disappointed, you know, and they just feel. And one time, most people, and most white people and people within the world yeah. thought that Jamaica was just about Rasta. Rasta. Right. <laughs> you know, so. Oh, well, gotta hurry, yeah. Another late entry this morning, hoping she'd be sleeping, but that was not to be. She was waiting for me, lonely, teary eyes. She turned and looked at me, emptiness I saw, staring back at me, yes. How could I hurt her so much, have I been so out of touch? My baby, my baby, yes. Have I lost her being a fool, neglecting her I was so cool. Sorry baby. Sorry, baby, yes. And all those little things that she she'd been, been questioning, questioning, they were plain to see. Now they're haunting me. I've got to get my priorities straight. Certain things just can't wait. I hope I'm not too late. I should not hesitate. Now, how could I hurt her so much? Have I been so out of touch? My baby, my baby, yes. Have I lost her beautiful? Neglecting her, I was so close. Sorry, baby. Now, at this point in time, how do you see your future in terms of the music and where it's going? Well, everything is decision, you know. And life is about the decisions we make, the choices, you know. And right now, I think, you know, with, with, with a team that I have, a management team, and a booking agent, and things that we're working with now, you know, yes, yes, yes. I think I'm heading in the right direction. So, right now, I'm just looking for us more and more and plenty more. You know, blessing abundance. Okay. And, and, and we're just ready to take out the world. Okay. And we know the world is there ready to, you know, and prepare to embrace us. Yes, 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 yes. And that's the direction that we're going in. And I never try to block myself with negativity. So I know that we'll shoot past the stars because the stars is not just a limit. Sitting by the rivers and 
three songs out, three singles that I know about that is out right now. Yeah, just touch up easy. And uh, one is Family Tina. Yeah. I've got to put food on my family stable as long as Jamaica I will in a neighbor. I've got to be strong because I am the man. Yes, I am. I can't let the system get tied down. I've got to push myself from off of the ground. I've got to be strong because I am the man. Yes, I am. Punchline, go a little thing like Though sometimes the struggle so hard, nothing in a bad for carry who on my yard. Still I'm a working hard, never commit no fraud. Oh la la. Things and times really getting tough. Hustle man, I hustle just to fool the cops. The rasta never give up. We have to fight non stop until we reach the top. I would know say that song right now, you know, because right whole world, financial wise, I feel it. Yes. So I know people can Gravitator. Yeah, man. Yeah. So it's a good vibe for people. We have a love song. We have a, we have a love song too. That's all they're doing well. England, all over. No need to fuss or fight. I will be there tonight. Holding you tight. So tight. There's no distance to keep me away from you. I will be there with you. Baby, these words are true. I will be there tonight. I'll be there in the blink of an eye Baby, it's only you In times like this That I miss Won't this Girl, I'm longing for your kiss We have, we have a little thing for the dance too and Because we are like, we are like them from left, right yeah, and yeah, center yeah, 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 yeah. Gangsta road where them are playing with the worry about Rasta far I spot them in the crowd Well, this guy is so now them realize them staring in them eyes no who is size. Gangsta roll with them a play, we know what we bout. To them no know say we know them we are about. Rastafari's hear it like a shout. What they talk about, why scout, you know. Right, 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 <laughs> yeah, right, man. Right, right. right, so um right now just tell us where do you see the music going right now? If it's part in a positive way, the the the, uh, the, the um reggae in general. Uh, reggae now is not a is 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 is, is not a hype music like you know like dance art would be. So here in Jamaica, you know dance art is what run the scene. Most of the places where you have Jamaicans and the people, you know, it's dance art. You know, love the vibe, love some beat, very creative and thing. But the real thing and the real about making music, making money, it's a real authentic reggae music because that, that's the music that lives now. Live forever. That's where my youth I come, come pick up and, 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 and have my legacy, the legacy that I laid on now, is for my generation. Because people will always be listening to those music. Royalties will always be coming after music. It's not a fast food thing. You know, yes, yes. You know it's, it, we, when, we make, when we sit down and make music, we make music for life. We make music that people can relate to in your everyday life. If we are talking about love as a year, you know, it's a love story where we put people together not to make them break up. Yes, yes. One of these women who didn't know our songs, you know, we, 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 we lift them, <laughs> you know, yes, yes. we lift them, we glorify yes, yes. the woman because you know what's the mother hurt. So we can't this, we don't, we don't want to do songs for this, that kind of vibe, you know. Yes. And for, furthermore, 
if you attack what a good tour with the Euro, because if you don't have a Euro, you have a good tour in Europe, you don't have what you make money. Because when you depend on, the, on the road for uh, three months, four months, that's where money, real money comes in. Burning Spear, the mall is at work from year to year. Yeah, that's nice. And I have Italian headlining a, 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 a festival, and after that festival, there was a show with Burubantan. A Borobantan draw over 10,000 people on a beach. Beach could hold. Borobantan, where you're not here, but you're not here. Yeah, yeah, so we know how it's them side of yeah, yeah. the world. Is, yeah. And Europe, Europe is the bigger part of the world. That's where the market is. Yeah, but right. I know, um, love Jamaica, we make music for the world. Yeah. From yard to, to abroad. <laughs> so we still have to think about the business side, yeah, so we have to yeah. make music for the world. Yeah. Not just for Jamaica. Music for the world, music that people, I know, you the music that we make cross over to all the different nations. Cause music is life. Okay. Check it. Right. Bob Marley, no one still not sell like Bob Marley. Yes. Check it. Yes, yes. You know? true, true, true. Yeah. Um, give us a good word to the youths nowadays. In terms of, in terms of where they are going now, you know, Jamaica situation and the youths right now. I just tell you them to the seek ye first the kingdom of Jah, and all things will be added. Because if you know not God in there, you know not love him. And that's the direction to go in. If you're not going that direction, you know no direction. So crime and violence, now nah, we do it. All we do is mash up ourselves as a nation, we destroy. You know, for the youth, the man thing to come, we have to know the examples that we're setting through the media, music, anything we are doing. If we want our nation to be a good nation, and if we want our youth to be successful and represent us as adults, you know, we have to know we have to, we have to teach you the right things. So we have to tell you that seek you first the kingdom of God and all the necessary things will be added. Everything in life that you want, trust me, will come. Yes. Here on Silk. It was a blessing. Blessed love, my brother. I hope we can do it next time. Thanks to me. Oh, See you baby. Time. Okay, and we are back. I'm Sister D. And wow, what a great interview with Aaron Silk. We want to thank Aaron Silk so much for agreeing to do this. We want to thank Dub House Pictures for doing a great job and putting everything together down there in Jamaica. Um, we have this showcase. It's going to be every week. We have some great artists and performers that you can check out. And you can find it on showtour.net. You can find it on uh, This and That TV's YouTube channel and also Dub House Pictures. Um, it's also going to be syndicated soon. So we're going to have some uh, great news coming up for you. And um, once again, I am Sister D with Ahoo.TV. And I want to say thanks once again to Mr. Aaron Silk for doing this great interview and we will be back next week with I and Zion and some live shots from Boston live shows and we got some good things coming up. Again, this is Sister D of Huda TV. One love.